So just like you have been sort of confused waiting to see what's going to be happening on Dokkan Battle currently right now because just like everybody else that was kind of waiting last night to see if we were going to get the new Dokkan Fest sort of character teased out, that didn't happen. We did get an easy A, but we was all sort of sitting around waiting and like, when we're going to get it, is it going to happen? What's going to happen? I want to know. I want to see who is going to be, if I should skip it or not. I'm just going to say this right now. The, these, this is the last two months of 2024, okay? Just like I said previously before in other videos and also streams, if you catch the live streams, check out the live streams. I've said this before multiple times. The end of the year is very chaotic for Dokkan Battle. Once you get into November and December, very chaotic. And seeing as they've pretty much just said that they're implementing in the anniversary stuff going forward, like basically all of the anniversary content, stuff like that, they're giving us something for each one of those going forward to the 10th anniversary. They kind of like put even more necessarily on their plate. So listen up, Dokkan Battle player, or excuse me, Ninja Turtles. There's a lot to be said right now. And like I said, I know everybody's kind of been waiting about wondering like what's going to be happening and stuff like that. We did get this information stuff that popped up as well too, which was kind of okay. Cause like, I'm just looking at this and I'm like, okay, you know, some, some Dragon Ball content here right now, like Oolong and Launch are gonna get an actual EZA. We got Super Battle Road that's gonna get a new stage as well too. And then we also have the support memory boost. I'm like, okay, that's understandable. That's happening uh, starting from the 29th. So I'm thinking, are we gonna get the uh, teaser for the new Dokken Fest tonight? Because let me, let me go ahead and paint this picture for you. So Heroes, that's gonna be in November, November, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, just go back and look at this. The third, because this is the thank you celebration. The thank you celebration starts the third of November, which again is very fitting because if you go back and you go in and you look at like all of the login and stuff like that currently right now, it actually ends the fourth, November the fourth. So that would mean that the third would be like the new start of the thank you celebration. And then you still have that one day of getting a dragon stone while everything's still coming out and stuff like that. And again, uh, let me go ahead and say this uh, before I forget. I don't know if we'll see Perunga or something like that, but the banner came out as well too. And this is gonna be something that's kind of uh, big for us, especially on the global side and also the JP side. Cause JP side, I know y'all probably like sitting around like, well, we've already got the Tanabata. I know you already got the part one of the Tanabata, whatever. Initially, I said this at the beginning of the year, whenever we had the actual like sync up stuff and the information and stuff like that, that they said was going to happen. When we got Ultra Instinct Goku for the global side, I literally said, okay, well, there's Ultra Instinct Goku. They didn't give us Jiren and Jiren's still a rising carnival. Uh, so we're kind of like, all right, that's a double rates banner. That's going to be out in some point in time, probably going to be December. They still have to put something in here in the thank you celebration to even entice the JP side as well too. Because even, even for the global side, like we have to have a new unit that pops off as well too. And seeing as we're at this point right now, where it's an LR, we're, we're waiting for an LR. I, I'm gonna assume currently right now, we're waiting for our Dokken Fest LR. Because again, we've already had Ultra Instinct Goku come out. And at this point in time, when we get, and we're not into Tanabata territory, we're still in the thank you celebration, but we still have the heroes as well too. That's gonna be, again, the 22nd is when that is gonna be dropping, even the banner, that's when that's gonna be happening. So we're still 25 days off currently right now from all of this. So that would mean we still need that unit to come out again at that point in time. So I'm gonna expect a whole lot of teasing uh, leading up into the third that way we can actually get the unit and hopefully like i said it is an lr because that that's that, that's in my opinion that's the only other way that i can see it being very enticing even for the jp side because if you're on the jp side you're looking at this and you're like we're already got the tanabata banner units if anything i'm either going to pick up uh, a unit with a coin that i don't have or need a dupe of or i'm going to use the tons of thanks tickets to summon on and hopefully that i get a unit that i don't necessarily have or i need dupes of from the anniversary and again if they are uh, I'm going to assume they're going to be generous enough to throw in the Tanabata uh, units as well, too. The Ultra Instinct and stuff like that to come back for you guys as well. I'm going to assume they're definitely going to do that at this point in time because that would be sort of weird if they didn't do that. But for the global side, this, again, is still something that's sort of like a, I won't say a skip sort of season still, but at the same time, if we get, again, like you go through and look at this because this, this is a good celebration. The thank you celebration is a big celebration. This is the same thing that they said out of their own mouth when they said, the thank you celebration, the worldwide celebration, and also the anniversary are the upper echelons. And that's the 2,500 Dragonstone Pity. That's not no 1,000 Dragonstone Pity whatsoever at all. That's out of their mouth. 
So we have, again, hopefully, probably an LR that's either going to be absolutely incredible or not. <laughs> we'll just have to see if it's going to be incredible or not. We still have that as well, too. So we're kind of looking at this in the chaotic little aspect of being like, there's this, there's heroes, there's that rising carnival. And then towards Christmas, there is also a Doken Fest, or I'm going to assume a Doken Fest. I'm going to assume this is going to come out at that point in time as well, too, because of real Christmas. I'm going to assume that. We still have that. And then we also have New Year step up banner right after that. So <laughs> if you're listening to that and you're kind of like, oh, that that's that is a lot. That is a lot. And don't forget, we still have all this stuff that's going to be popping off as well, too, for all of the named anniversaries and stuff like that going forward. The third, the second, third, fourth, all the way up until I think what the eighth or whatever. We're going to have all of this going through and transpiring all the way through this. So and until again, we get to the 10th year anniversary. So we're looking at so much stuff and going, oh, man, that that's that's kind of tough. Like that's that's really tough to see all this stuff still pop off and look at and go, ooh, wee, that is craziness. Like if I go to the uh, th this is just the first place uh, for like they don't I don't know why they don't even have the Dragstone count for none of these anymore. These are all older ones. It's like they went through and tried to wipe away like all the Dragonstone counts for some reason right now. This is that like side tangent right now this is very odd this is very odd this is them literally scrubbing their own history of how many dragon songs that they've given out and i'm not gonna lie that's either good or bad it's, it's one of the two it's it's not in between this is this is either good or bad going forward so i'm kind of curious to see what the heck is going to happen what's going to come out for the actual thank you celebration because like i said that's going to be that banner the initial banner heroes and then the tanabanta banner with said unit that just came out at the beginning of november the lr that's going to be on the Tanabanta uh, banner. So it's kind of like you can skip the said unit that comes out currently right now. You're going to have worse odds of probably getting them <laughs> like on the Tanabanta banner, but you could do it. You, you could do it. I know most people are saving for heroes and stuff like that, but I don't think it's crossed a lot of people's mind necessarily that again, the thank you celebration, they could either, they could either go buck wild and give us a new unit LR, or they could just say, no, nah, we're not going to do that. They give a regular do confess LR that you can skip and that's it. And like I said, if we can load and behold, if we can somehow I'll get the same amount of dragon songs that we got for October, which by the way, I still haven't even said this yet, but we're still waiting for the second anniversary unit stuff to come out as well too, because they started out with Gogeta and Janemba, and then the end of the month, you would think they would have already done it by now, but they haven't, and then they're going to go ahead and do it again, November. So it's kind of weird how that's really going to structure, because everyone's looking at Easy A's, hopefully just a bunch of Easy A's to get more dragon stones, and again, even if it is super Easy A's, it's not nearly as many dragon Dragon Stones, but it is a decent little bit that we're going to be able to collect in as long as the content is still is the same as it was in like October. Because like I said, let's be honest, they killed it in October. I mean, we're all just sort of waiting right now to see exactly what the heck goes on all of this stuff. Like I, like I said, I'm scrolling through this one. You're seeing it and you're going through it, and look, none of this should really change whatsoever at all. All the stuff that you're seeing through here should be the same amount of content that we actually get, except just reskin to whatever theme that it's going to be. So all the stuff that, except for RIP chain battle except for chain battle but like everything should be what we see and this part right here should be what frieza i think uh frieza's awakening we already got bardock's awakening so i'm gonna assume frieza's awakening at this point as well and again that was the 15th that is right in the middle of november ton of stuff like i say and this is not even counting all the you know anniversary th third anniversary and also fourth anniversary stuff that we'll be getting which i'm gonna assume at that point in time is it, probably gonna be either some gogeta easy a or or some super easy of goku and, and vegeta super saiyan 4 for the fourth year I like besides the uh, extreme units, I, I don't know what else they would do with that because a lot of those extreme units need uh super easy a's as well so eh, on the toss up on that one but for the third year anniversary i mean what was that that was still uh well well that was gogeta and vegeto give me what you want in the comment section below on that one but yeah i'm not going to try to ramble too much anymore on this one but yeah i just want to bring this to attention right now because there's a ton of stuff that needs to be coming out right now and like i said for dokkan to sort of be playing little uh footsies with us right now is a little weird especially when they gave us that roadmap it's a little weird but other than that have an awesome day slash night. Stay safe. And I'm out. Beats. Yeah.